So India starts her days uh, quite early. Her mum or dad would drop her off at gymnastics in the morning. Uh, there she'd train until uh, most days about 10 o'clock. Uh, from there, the school organised to pick her up in a um, special transport via bus, bring her back to school where she will start a normal school day. But then at the end of the day, at about 3 o'clock, we take her back to gym so she can finish her afternoon training. The class size that we've got for uh, India's class is quite small. That means that the teacher can um, have individual plans for students that are going outside of the school to do their specialist elite sport. And we also manage her homework program so that she uh, still gets uh, to do some homework, but uh, we are very understanding about the extra training that she does on the weekends and after school. Oh, um, I don't know if we could be doing this without the school program. The school has accommodated so that she doesn't miss anything. And um, she's still doing really well at school, which, which is you know a top priority for us. And she's doing her gym. I like how um, the bus can pick me up from gym. And I also like that um, there's a sports class where um, like it's made for um, people, like kids that do sport and they don't miss out on anything because it's a sports class. Unfortunately, most schools are just not geared up to accommodate these elite athletes and their training schedules, and Ascot Park had, had that in place already. If we didn't have that, I don't know how we would do the logistics. That, that's the main thing, I guess. Um, I'd like to go to the Olympics in 2024, and I'd like to um, win the gold.